That one first. Okay. Welcome, everybody, uh, for this fine, beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, I got the day off, got my hair cut, and uh, I'm going to go over something that uh, I've never done. I've never made this juice recipe, but um, I have looked it up uh, according to, you know, Google searches, uh, the Gerson Therapy Green Juice Recipe. Um, the information is out there if you Google it. Uh, of course, Charlotte Gerson talks about it in her uh, YouTube videos. And uh, I've written down the recipe, but I've never done it. So this is going to be my first time doing it. And um, Charlotte Gerson, she recommends that you get as many ingredients as you can find. And she says she has a lot of people saying, well, I can't find this. Well, I can't find that. As many ingredients as you can find. And she stresses that sometimes maybe you can only find two ingredients. That's fine. Just follow the recipe as it's been described, but don't substitute anything. Because people ask all the time, well, what about, you know, can I substitute this or can I substitute that? No substitutions. Stick to the recipe. Uh, I'm going to read the recipe off uh, regarding. According to the Pure Juicers uh, website, uh, six to seven uh, big leaves of romaine lettuce. Romaine? It's actually not even that big. Uh, red leaf lettuce. They don't say how many leaves. Uh, two to three leaves of escarole. Now this one is tricky because I've never purchased escarole before. And I don't know what it looks like, but I was at Sprouts yesterday and I saw it. I saw an escrow and then it dive. And those two must be very closely related because every time I Google, I, I, I bought them both. Of course, you put it in plastic sacks. And then when you get to the cashier, I didn't remember which one was which. So it's either this one, which is endive. I think this one's endive. And I think this one is escarole. Or it could be the other way around. I'm not sure. But I googled escarole, and when you try it, Google escarole, and it will give you endive. And I've googled it several times on my computer, on my phone, and it gives me endive. I also picked up this. This is a uh, Belgian endive, and uh, I purchased this one, and I was like, "Whoa, well, uh, I don't want Belgian endive." I, I'm, tr I'm trying to stick to the Gerson recipe as closely as possible. So uh, two to three leaves of endive, three to four leaves of red cabbage, uh, two to three young inner beet tops, inner leaves, the inner leaves of the beet tops. So they don't use the beets, they don't use the stems, they just use the leaves. Uh, two to three leaves of Swiss chard. Now that one was another um, funny one. I had to go to uh, Clark's Nutrition in Loma Linda, California, ah, excuse me, Loma Linda, California to get this one um, because I was at Sprouts in uh, Upland, California and I found only rainbow chard and red chard. Now, I had to ask the clerk at Clark's, well, what's Swiss chard? And she said, Swiss chard is green chard. So this is green chard and according to um, the produce clerk at Clark's Nutrition, Swiss chard is green chard. I googled it and they said that the nutritional benefits are pretty much the same as in, uh, it's just the color. Um, and you can see it, it's the stems. You see the stems on the red chard? Red. Um, here's yellow and then here's white chard in there. So, But the leaves are pretty much, the leaves on the green one are bigger. I can see they're bigger. Rainbow chard, green chard. So, uh, where did I leave off? Two leaves of Swiss chard, a quarter of green pepper, so one quarter of this, and uh, two to three leaves of watercress. That's the watercress. And a medium green apple. Where'd my apple go? Oh. Right there. Whole green apple. Yippee. And I also went on another website. I, this was probably more reliable. This one, 
comes, looks like it's coming directly from the Gerson Institute, um, Healing with Nature, green juice recipe and preparation. It says dark green lettuces, one quarter to one half of a head, depending on the size of the lettuce, red and green leaf, lettuce, romaine, and endives. I think I'm going to use this one. It says iceberg lettuce is useless and do not use. Wow, that's pretty harsh. <laughs> Escarole, two to three leaves, beet tops, two to three leaves, watercress, five to six leaves, red cabbage, two to three leaves, green bell pepper, one quarter, Swiss chard, it just says little, a little bit of Swiss chard, okay, and one green apple. I think I'm going to go off of this recipe. So, let's get our dark green lettuces. Uh, I guess I'm going to use red and green. Where's my green lettuce? Right here. Green lettuce, green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce. Green. Okay, so a uh, quarter to half a head. I'm assuming each. Let's try that. So we got the green leaf lettuce going in first. They mentioned uh, they do use the Norwalk juicer um, on their website. They say that you can also use other juicers such as the Green Star, um, the Angel Juicer. Um, I got it right here. Hang on a second. Uh, juicers for treating non malignant conditions. So I guess if you're not sick with cancer, they, they, they say this is, these juicers are okay. Um, the Champion Juicer, the Angel Juicer, the Green Star, the Green Power, Solo Star, the Hurum Slow Juicer, and the Omega Juicers, Masticating Models Only. Uh, centrifugal, unsuitable juicers, centrifugal juicers. So if you've got a centrifugal juicer, uh, according to Gerson Therapy, it's out. You can't you, you, won't, you won't see the healing benefits with the centrifugal juicer. Which, uh, I was watching a video with uh, Charlotte Gerson, and she had even actually mentioned that they had a cancer patient that was using a centrifugal juicer and was not seeing, uh, was not seeing any uh, depletion of tumor growth. Tumor was not growing, it was not um, shrinking, it was just staying the same. Uh, the only change she made was she switched over to a champion juicer and all of a sudden uh, tumor growth started shrinking. So, and ever since I heard that, I heard, I heard that on that video and I was like, Sylvia, from now on, use the Green Star. And I still use the bread roll over there. I use the bread for my orange juices. This is red leaf lettuce now. And I'm going to use a quarter of a head. So, a quarter of a head. That's just something to think about. I mean, centrifugal juicers, they're nice. Uh, they're very convenient. Um, they're very fast. I mean, you're still going to be getting a good source of, of nutrients uh, by using them, but if you're looking to heal yourself of a malignant disease such as cancer, um, then I would definitely, definitely get serious about it and buckle down and, and get yourself a good quality juicer like the juicers that were uh, named on that website. I'll name them again. Champion Juicer, uh, Angel Juicer, Green Star, this is the Green Star, um, Green Power, Solo Star, uh, Hiram Slow Juicer, and the Omega Juicers Masticating Models Only. Stephanie Lehman says hi. Oh, hi Stephanie. Uh, and then she wants you to mention something about being over 100,000 members. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I did want to... Um, Say I didn't want to say that we we, we hit a hundred thousand. 
Yeah, it looks like we hit um, over 100,000 members. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome considering, you know, I create, started and created this group last year. Um, January? January or February? January for sure. No, January for sure. I started this group. Uh, it's called Juicing for Health. I don't know if you guys can see my shirt. Um, Juicing for Health. This shirt was made by a member of the group. His name was Valor Luke. Um, he's got a um, he's got a hookup with Amazon where he does uh, merch by Amazon and he makes shirts. And he's got several shirts uh, available for sale. He asked me last year if he could make some. This, you know, I said yes, no problem. Um, and uh, I got he sent me this shirt for free, and I've got several other shirts. Um, I don't know if he still has the, the link available on Amazon. Um, you may want to check that out. But um, some good news. I, myself, it is, it's taken me a long time. I'm going to be uh, making some Juicy for Health shirts my own. Um, and I'm also going to be making some Poppy Veg uh, t-shirts for my uh, Poppy Veg YouTube channel. Um, so those are going to be available. Um, pretty soon uh, Sylvia Sylvia sent the uh, she sent some information over to the vendor this morning so we're going to see if we can get those uh, going pretty soon just understand that um, I'm not a wealthy individual uh, I'm, I'm the average Joe working stiff guy you know I have my bills I have uh, you know my mortgage and my car payment my electric bill, my trash bill, my water bill. I have responsibilities that I have to um, make sure that I uh, take care of first. So I will be doing this very slow and very um, small. Uh, I think we're going to put like 48 shirts. Uh, we're going to put an order of like 48 shirts. And then uh, what, whatever profits we make from that, we'll just reinvest it into getting some more shirts for you guys because I think, I think it's going to be something that um, not only benefits me, but I'm pretty sure once you guys are, are heavily involved in this group, you guys are going to be kind of proud to wear, wouldn't you be proud to wear a shirt out there on the streets that says, that tells the whole world, hey, you know, I'm taking my health into my own control and I'm, uh, I'm juicing for my health. Yeah. And, you know, I wore this shirt to the barbershop right now, and uh, I could see people's eyes light up when they see me. Because those guys at the barbershop, they remember when I was 255 pounds. And they see me now, and they're like, how did you do it? Well, they read the shirt, and they don't have to ask, how did I do it? This is how I did it. Okay, so quarter of the, uh, I used a quarter of the red leaf, quarter of the green leaf, and a quarter of the... Romaine, and I'll show you how much juice it made already. You know what I think it was? I think it was a quarter of of, of one of them. All your, I think it's your option to have just one of them. Hmm. I don't think you have to use all three because this yeah, is designed to, to make. This is only supposed to be eight ounces of juice. <laughs> so I already messed it up. Here's the bowl. Uh, They're suggesting for them to be yellow. Yellow? The shirts. Yellow? That sounds good. Yeah. Why yellow? Why? I was thinking green because green, I think of green juices. Um, or maybe just black. Or maybe just white. Um, okay. Uh, and endives. So, which one did I say was endive? This one, huh? Yes. We'll go with this one. Is there a reason why you don't watch the produce? Oh yeah, 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 there is a reason. <laughs> this is all organic produce, um, so I do trust uh, the farmers that grew this, that they weren't using pesticides on them. 
Uh, I also understand there's a lot of raw foodists. I learned myself personally from Dan the Man, the Life Regenerator on YouTube. He never washes any of his produce. And he says there's a spe very specific reason why. He says there's uh, beneficial bacteria on these produces, uh, that, which is probiotics. Uh, there's probiotics. There's, there's vitamin B12 and there's probiotics. Now vitamin B12 is a vitamin that is created by bacterium. Bacterium produces vitamin B12. All the animals in nature, none of them uh, wash any of their produce because they don't have hands, they can't wash them. Man is the only one that had the, the, uh, the ingenious to wash our produce and wash off that beneficial bacteria and wash off that vitamin B12 that's produced by bacteria. So we then become deficient in those areas. And most people say that you have to get um, a good source of probiotics and vitamin B12 through eating animal products. Well, how do those animals get it? They get it because they never wash any of their produce. They're out there in, in the wild eating the, what nature provides, eating the, the, um, the vitamins and the minerals that are, that are on the leaves. And what do we do? We wash them off. And by the way, the water that we use to wash them off has been chlorinated and fluoridated toxic toxins so when we do that we end up ingesting washing off the good stuff and adding the bad stuff the the, the, uh, the chlorine fluorine fluorine which is toxic um, unless you live in a non fluoridated area so that's the reason why I never wash my produce that and I get lazy I'm lazy I've been accustomed to not washing it anymore so um, I watched a video, there's a YouTube video of a bunch of different raw foodists and they all have different opinions. Yes, some of them wash them, but a lot of them don't. Lou Corona, if you guys have ever heard of Lou Corona, he's a 42, probably even 43 year raw foodist by now. He's in his 60s. He started raw foods when he was in his 20s. He, had a, he was sick, he had a tumor on his neck, um, he had um, severe acne, he had uh, chronic constipation. He was just, he had all kinds of, uh, I think he had arth bad arthritis, he had all kinds of bad stuff. And he decided to go raw foodist back in his 20s. And he's in his 60s now. And he's like, gosh, I can't remember when's the last time I washed. I don't wash, I just eat. Because he understands the benefits of the, uh, of the, the beneficial bacteria, the probiotics vitamin B12 that's on the produce, especially if you're getting organic produce that hasn't been sprayed by pesticides. So that's why. Uh, and I go over this lots of times. I've mentioned it to lots of people. Uh, two to three leaves of escarole. I'm calling this one escarole, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, and now they want to go outside, huh? Mm -hmm. Let them outside. Dogs. You want to go in and out, in and out. Watch. In 30 seconds they're going to be scraping on the door wanting to come back in. Are they, are they using the restroom? Jack is. Okay. Good, good dog, good dog. Uh, beet tops. Two to three leaves of inner leaf beet tops. I'm just going to grab a couple of these. One, two, People are always asking, do you use the leaves? Person therapy does. What's that guy's name that eats raw that you mentioned? Who? The last guy you mentioned that eats raw. Lou Corona? Lou Corona? If you haven't looked up Lou Corona on YouTube, do that. He is an outstanding uh, raw foodist. Uh, he's got his own company, um, Puridine. Uh, he, he sells enzymes, digestive enzymes, and uh, probiotics, and protein. Uh, 
all plant, all plant, all organic, all raw, um, good stuff. I stopped using the digestive enzymes because I, I learned that if you use too much too digestive enzymes, too much digestive enzymes, your body stops producing them. So uh, yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather just do the natural. Okay. Um, five to six leaves of watercress. I'm doing stems. They said leaves. I'm doing stems. Yeah. I've never made this uh, recipe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Red cabbage. Two to three leaves of red cabbage. Not at all entirely green. We've got some red in there. Okay, back to Gerson Therapy. Gerson Therapy, they have four juice recipes. If you want to follow Gerson Therapy, um, they start out with an orange juice every morning, eight ounces of orange juice. And they even use, they even tell you what kind of juicer uh, to use for orange juice. Citrus juicer. I guess one of those ones where you, you squeeze it like that. Uh, eight ounces of orange juice. Then they have a straight carrot juice, eight ounces. Uh, and they make sure you have an eight ounces every hour, fresh. Never stored. Never let, let's make a whole bunch now and then we'll store it in fresh. Always fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, you're trying to cure something you know, like cancer, so you do want to go that extra mile. I, I could see where if you were doing this person therapy, you'd probably have to quit your job and stay home and make juices all day long. Um, okay, so that was the uh, red cabbage, one quarter of a green bell pepper. So that's what one quarter looks like. It just says a little, but this other website gives you more like uh, two leaves of Swiss chard. So we're going to go with the green one. Oh, these leaves are huge. Mm -hmm. I've already got like maybe 20 ounces here. It was def Now that I've done this, so I didn't know how much juice this was going to make. Now that I know, I know that, it, I definitely know that as far as the greens, the red leaf, the green leaf, and the endive it was one or the other. That was that's the recipe, one or the other. That's not all three or four of them like I did. And then just the apple. Yeah, it was just one or the other. Because the apple's going to give a lot of juice. I intentionally, I purposely did the apple last because the apple's going to be um, the most water rich 
item that we have here. So it's going to like push through any of the leaves that are still in the gears of the juicer. And uh, Charlotte Gerson mentions how the pectin in the apple um, really brings out, how did she say it? She said it brings out the, the vitamins of all the greens. I think that's how she said it. You have to watch her videos. She's got uh, a ton of videos on YouTube. They're all like two hours long. So uh, if you're really interested in educating yourself um, as far as healing, the healing powers of juicing, then I would definitely recommend um, saving two, uh, setting aside two hours of your time to watch any of her videos. Uh, I know I had posted it in the, in the Juicy for Health group one time, and um, I guess some people are just either new to the group or just not into the healing uh, powers of juicing, and their comment was, I'm not going to sit through two hours and watch a video. Well, I would because I'm interested about healing. I'm interested about the benefits of what juices do for us. I already know this is going to be, this is a lot. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to strain it. It's going to be strong, huh? Oh, yeah, it's going to be real strong. Yep, that's a lot of greens. It's got some green and some purple up there on top. It's actually very pretty. Renette Beck said that she had her, her suspicions about enzymes too. About what? She, the enzymes. What enzymes? She had her suspicions about enzymes. She took them for a while, for a long time, uh -huh. and then she couldn't digest anything. Yeah, I had that same issue. She I, was going I, crazy. I took them for uh, the whole time I was on my 100 day juice fast, and then after I ended my juice fast, I, I couldn't poop <laughs> on my own. I had to do it. Was like, so I stopped using enzymes. Maybe off and on. Maybe really off and on use them. Definitely if you were going to have i uh, I've seen Marcus Rothkranz. He, he said um, he definitely uses them if he goes out to eat like at a restaurant. And he's a raw foodist, but he says, you know what, it, there's no need to get, um, you know, if you're going out to a restaurant and they give you a little bit of cooked food, like maybe some, some cooked sesame seeds in your salad or some those cooked like wonton strips in your salad. He, said, he says it's not a big deal. He says just take some digestive enzymes and you'll be fine. If you guys want to see why I strain it, um, I know uh, Linda, Linda Lopez, you just got a green star and um, this is why I strain them. Look at all that. Taking all that out. It makes the juice just much smoother when you're drinking it. Imagine you're drinking all that foam and the, there's a lot of fiber in there. And you use the Granny Smith apple, right? Yeah, Granny Smith apple. Yeah, the same person asked twice, why, did, why didn't you, what about the seeds? Do you use them? Do you take them out? Yeah, I don't, I don't take the seeds out. A lot, if you want to, you know, take the seeds out, uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question because that tells me that you're a bit savvy. You know, as do a lot of people know, that the seeds of apples have um, contain cyanide, which is uh, a known toxin. So if you want to take them out, take them out. I never, I never take them out. Um, Why don't you take them out, babe? Just lazy, I guess. No, remember what you research? How many seeds does it take for you to get? <laughs> I, I did research into how many seeds it takes to get a toxic lethal dose of cyanide from the apple seeds and it's like like pounds and pounds and pounds and like imagine you had a, a bag of apple seeds like this you probably need like two three four five bags of those um, to get to receive a toxic lethal dose well, they seeds. won't do nothing to you so it didn't really mean too much to me this is 20 ounces it's supposed to be eight You're okay. saying you look great. Well, thank you. I'll get it down to 12. That's 12. So that's 12 up. No. 
That's eight ounces. That's eight ounces of green juice. This is how much is recommended. Uh, I'll get close to the camera. This camera and that camera. This is how much is recommended. There's actually breadcrumbs on this camera. The lens. Mm. Sorry. Now uh, this is exactly how much is recommended according to Gerson therapy to have every hour on the hour. I think they just have one of these a day and the rest is carrot uh, and carrot and apple and then one orange juice. They have uh, 13, 13 glasses of these every hour. Every hour, one of these for 13 hours. Let's taste it. The, um, Not delicious, not sweet like I normally <laughs> like, but a lot of you out there are not like me. A lot of you out there don't even like sweet. Um, there's a lot of you out there that don't like juicing fruits. I love juicing fruits. Um, a lot of you out there are really, really die hard with the green juices. This would be an excellent green juice recipe. I was just asking if the checker has ever asked you if you run a restaurant when you go to the market. Uh, no, I've never got that. Then Dana said uh, thank you. She was wondering if, how, how strict she needs to be with the apples. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I don't. I, I, Google, I Google, I Google, every, I Google everything when I when I get um, juicing is is uh, part of my life. I, I get passionate about it and I. I, I sometimes overdo things when I juice. I mean, look look at all this produce I bought, you know. I know I realize I do get a little bit fanatical and I overdo things, but um, when you're talking about one's health, you know, that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and drink the rest. You want some of this? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll let you have, let you have the rest. Um, but taking your health seriously, really buckling down and getting fanatical about it, a lot of people get fanatical about the NBA playoffs. A lot of people get fanatical about the Super Bowl coming up, or, or you know, the past the, the, the um, you know, the, the baseball, the, the World Series, um, and none of that is going to benefit, you know, your life in any way. This is your body. You only get one body, folks, and and once, once it's shot, once your health is shot, you don't get. You might get a second chance. But then again, you might not. And if you don't get a second chance, then you're gone. Yeah. So um, take it seriously. Get serious about it. If you have to, you know, be fanatical about it. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Gerson Therapy um, green juice recipe. And uh, I went ahead and I listed all the ingredients on the description on the Juicing for Health support group. And I'm going to do the same on my YouTube channel, Poppy Veg, because that's how serious I think this green juice recipe is. Okay, and you guys have seen me do uh, the carrot and apple juice tons of times. I've never done it with the green apple. Maybe I should do it with the green apple tomorrow. But after this, I'm going to do, um, stay tuned. I'm going to do another video on how to request on the coconut water. So I'm going to do that next. All right. Thank you for checking in, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. It's really good. It's actually not that bad. No. It's actually pretty good. Cool.